Tiago Dantes ready to Alcantara. Oh my goodness. Bar Munich deciding to wake me up at 10 p.m. But I'm happy, man. I'm so happy. You know what? Our deadline signings just went from a 4 out of 10 or a 5 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10, baby. Feeling all sensational. Boobage is there. Booty is there. Everything is there now. I'm so happy. I really wanted a Tiago replacement. Someone that was ideally young. Someone that could mold themselves into what Tiago was. Remember when Tiago came here? He was this offensive number 8 coming from Barcelona. He didn't really have a real position. He wasn't an all and out 10. He was always like this number 8 slash 10. Sometimes could be a 6. And then over time, he slowly molded himself into Tiago ready to tackle Alcantara and now we have Tiago ready to Dantes Alcantara man ah come on let's do this Bar Munich are funny though how can you really get rid of Tiago and then sign another Tiago to replace Tiago and they actually play very similar they're very technical midfielders nah this kid is technical oh yes feeling like the 4th of July I got my flare back Ooh, fireworks all over the place. My flair is back, baby. Yes, it's Portuguese flair, but hey, okay, it's basically Brazilian because they speak Portuguese in Brazil. So, <laughs> Brasilio Techers is back at Bayern Munich. Let's do this. Yes, I needed my flair, man. We were losing a lot of flair players. Players that just had different ideas about how to interpret different situations like Tiago. We lost that. And Cousins had flair about him. And we bring flair back to the Allianz Arena. Light him up, baby. Red flair is back. Tiago ready to dance. Ready to dance. Just dance. I'm happy about this signing. Really ecstatic. I don't think people understand, okay? My football manager skills are coming in handy. Because I know about this kid. Been knowing about him. Because I keep scouting him with every club I go to. He's 17. You know, he's going to turn into my little tempo controller. And that's exactly what he's going to do for us. This kid can control the tempo. Celsius. Fahrenheit. Temperature, man. Hot. Cold. All over the time. All over the place. I can't wait, though. All over the time. I can't speak, man. It's 11 p.m. <laughs> I should stop recording this late. Tiago without the H, without the hell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but seriously, I'm excited with this signing. I think it pretty much just sauced up our entire window because you're looking at our window. Everyone's trying to convince themselves that Chupa Moteng is a good signing when two years ago he was playing for Stoke City. Everyone's trying to convince themselves that, of course, Serginho Des wasn't good enough for Bayern because he had defensive liabilities about his game, but they'll convince themselves that Bonasaza, great, great right back because, you know, we signed him. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy. This signing right here just made me very happy because I'm thinking about the overall perspective for me about the signing. It's a player that's young, right? That excites me. This this is what we needed this window. I really wanted someone like a, a Vinicius from Benfica. We should have just raided Benfica. We should have gone to clubs like Benfica and raided them and gotten their best players for a very cheap price. And they would have loved to sit on our, sat on our bench. They would have loved to do that. But... We didn't, and I'm so happy that this one, this one we had to do. I really didn't know too many things about this kid, but I'm so happy that he's coming to our club. I'm so happy that he's going to be playing for us. So we'll see what he's on. We'll see what he's about. But Thiago Dantes is going to become a Bayern Munich player with an 8 million buyout option, so that could be activated. And that's even a crazier deal because you're thinking about it. And if he has a successful first season and we can see what his game is about, then all of a sudden we're all going to want him to stay. Eight million is a complete steal because he's special. This kid could be the genuine reaction to losing someone like a Tiago. Tiago controlled the tempo for us. He was always there. He always just had this sauce about him. This really just this unplayable character in his game, man. This guy could lose the ball in the middle of the pitch. His composure was just crazy and he just jogged back, read the game, recover perfectly. I think we needed that type of player. I'm not saying Dantas is gonna be losing the ball. You know what I mean? He's just gonna have that composure, man, that just, I don't care what you do. I'm just gonna be composed as hell. I'm gonna dribble through you. This kid can do that. His best trait, vision, his passing, his ball control, things like that. I mean, my man's controlling the ball with his back 
he could do anything, man. I, I'm so, so happy. It's a very good signing for Bayern and a very good time. We're losing Cousins. We lost a lot of sauce. Cousins, we lost it. That little French sauce, the baguette sauce, we lost that. Now we're bringing in some Portuguese sauce. Ah, yes. From Benfica, too. I have to be very quiet because there are people saying, but from Benfica, I'm happy about this signing. Yes. I don't care. They wake up at 12 a.m. and bother me anyways. So, yeah, he breaks up play. Defensively, I think he's more developed than Thiago was at his age because Thiago was a 10 slash 8. So, defensively, he's more polished. Now, that doesn't say it's perfect. That's one of his biggest weaknesses. The kid is 5'7". He needs a little bit more muscle. That's fine. It's normal. The thing is, that's what you from these midfielders are this young. They're always going to have that about their game. Even Kimmich. Kimmich still doesn't read the game as perfectly as people just think he does, right? Sometimes Kimmich gets bypassed just a little bit. And he's constantly improving it. So that's not something I'm expecting him to fix overnight. Now, of course, Leon Goretzka is perfect because he never makes any mistakes. Defensively, he's a rock. <laughs> nah, but seriously, even Goretzka makes mistakes. And I love Leon Goretzka. I love Kimmich. They make mistakes defensively in the midfield. But the thing is, those are replenished by the fact that we have highly active center backs. Not Alaba, though, of course. His tight elegance is something I really like about him. I think Jao Felix had that. I really wanted Jao Felix at Bayern Munich. Couldn't happen. Jao Felix is an amazing player. And I think that tight elegance is something you need in the modern game. A lot of players these days, man. A lot of teams are very high pressing with lots of pace. And I think you need a player that just has that ability to make one little touch, a cute pass. And all of a sudden, he's beyond the game. I think Thiago did it so perfectly. There'd be pressure mounting and he'd turn, get three players out of the game, and he'd make a beautiful switch. We have that in Thiago, ready to Dantes. Thiago Dantes, ready to Alcantara. We have that now. We have that little just saucy turn. We have that just cute agility move right there. I, I don't know. I don't know. Neither Kimmich or Goretzka have it. I've been trying to convince myself that Kimmich and Goretzka have been dribbling past 4 billion players a game. Okay? I've been trying to convince myself. But the truth is, sometimes you just can't have everything in a midfielder. Kimmich isn't going to dribble like Thiago and turn on pressure because you need some sort of sauce, a level of technical sauce to do that. I'm not saying Kimmich doesn't, but that's just not in his game to be doing things like that. Turning on pressure. Yeah, that's just not it. But Dantes can definitely do that. He can not make someone if he cares. And I think that's an exceptional trait in his game. He's going to play left CM for us. So I'm expecting him to really just turn on the press. Turn on press. What did I, what did I mean by? Oh, turn on pressure. That's exactly what I meant. So hopefully he can do that for us. His line breaking passes look very special from these highlights. And I can't wait for them. He can get assist. But most importantly... He can also shoot as well. So, yeah, Liverpool might have gotten the wrong Thiago if they thought they were getting a goal scorer midfielder because <laughs> Thiago never scored. <laughs> I don't know why. He just didn't care. The guy was like, you know what? I'll just get pre-assist, the assist before the pass. And he did it. Did it very well. The thing with him as well is that as he's 19 years old, I'm really hoping that that's something that can spur other youngsters on. 6-1 to United Spurs. But seriously, spur other youngsters to come to Bayern to improve themselves. Renato Sanchez still bums me out because I was a kid that was a wonder kid. Thiago left. Renato Sanchez would have been the perfect replacement. He literally reminds me that sauce, that strength, the turning on pressure, the arrogance. Remember when we played Benfica in the Champions League? He was unplayable against his former team. This guy literally built up an entire goal. He was unplayable. I wish we could have Renato Sanchez back. But that's an example of a player that came in young, wonder kid. You needed to use him better. Thiago Dantas, hopefully, hopefully he's coming into the first team, by the way. None of this Bayern 2 thing. Bayern 2 doesn't help players develop. Let, let me be completely honest. I think it's too much of a comfort zone for our players. I think... Yeah, yeah, Davies. Alfonso wasn't ripping it up like that as a winger in Bayern 2. Yeah, he wasn't ripping it like three goals a game. I don't think it's as effective as people think. It's not a high level either. You're playing part-timers at that point. Of course not. But you know what I mean. 
hopefully he comes in with the first team because that's the whole dispute with Valencia or Benfica right now. It's that he wants to play in the first team. He wants to be with the first team players, but he constantly keeps getting put into the second team. Benfica B, Benfica Segundo. I don't know. That's pretty much what it is with him. So hopefully he's coming into our team, into our first team, which means he can start. No, he can get subbed on 10 minutes, control the game, give Kimmich a rest. I think he's a perfect replacement for Thiago. I think if I wanted anyone, it'd be him. Someone like him, 19 years old. Not that I would know too much about him to be wanting him specifically, but 19, young, can mold themselves into that midfielder that we want. And that's a very unplayable midfielder. Someone beautiful to watch. We needed that flair, and I'm so happy we got it back. Thank you. I wanted to be clear there. Yeah, but thank you everyone so much for watching. It's pretty late. Hopefully this comes out tomorrow and you enjoy it. But Mia San Mia and peace.